Blog Talk Radio. Um, a book that was about the occult in general that I 
would recommend to people new to Satanism and new to the occult as well, especially for the Satanist for its part um, on Satanism and medieval devil worship. It gave a good general outlook on medieval devil worship. And this book that I want to review this month is uh, Lucifer Rising, Sin, Devil Worship, and Rock and Roll by Gavin Badelli. I'm never really sure if I'm pronouncing it that right. It could be Gavin Badelli, Gavin Badelli, I don't know, but um, Gavin Badelli is the way I say it. And the book is from 1999. It's a, it's a pretty good book. It's um, in, much, in much the same way that I said Richard Cavendish's book gives a good overview of medieval devil worship in general, Lucifer Rising gives a very full picture of the satanic movement as it stood by 1999. I mean, it gives you a full bird's, bird's eye view of everything going on in Satanism, from the devil worshippers to the hardcore atheists to, uh, to everything in between. And it's a really cool book because for, the, the book is put pretty much in chronological order. You know, it starts off talking about uh, the history of Satanism. And, and like, like Richard Cavendish's book, it gives you a good overview of um, Satanism before the, the rise of public Satanism in the 60s. A lot of good information, a few little rarities in there. Uh, and, and then from then it goes on into things like Aleister Crowley, uh, you know, the magical orders in the, in the uh, 1800s, 1900s, the Golden Dawn and all that. And it keeps going all the way through, all the way to LaVey in the 60s to... Uh, to, um, and then once he gets into a subject, anything remote, r remotely related to um, devil worship, even if it's only linked by the media, such as uh, the Manson murders. Um, you know, and it goes all the way through that into uh, the um, 80s when the Satanic Ritual Abuse Panic. And that's some of the really good stuff about the book. It has a lot of great information about the SRA scandals or Satanic Ritual Abuse scandal of the 1980s. And for those of you who either don't know about that period in Satanism. It's something very important. Uh, for those of you who have heard about it and are thinking of getting into Satanism, but hearing that kind of stuff freaks you out and scares you, makes you wonder about how nasty and terrible Satanist churches really are, this book is backed up with enough facts, enough quotes, enough court things, you know, to really show you how much bullshit the Satanic Ritual Abuse Panic was. And that's only one of the good things about the book. Um, like I said, it goes through everything. It, it even talks about heavy metal and rock music, the influence on the influence Satanism may or may not have had on it, and the influence that rock music, especially forms such as black metal, have affected Satanism itself. But the really cool thing about the book to me is that in, in, in every section of the book, every time period he's covering, it is supplemented with interviews with people who are relevant to Satanism during that time. Um, there are interviews with LaVey more than anybody else throughout it, but there's also interviews from everybody from, you know, Kenneth Anger. You know, it's got interviews uh, with uh, different rock musicians who have claimed to be Satanists or ones who have had a Satanist label put on them so they can put their own record straight. It's got interviews with people from the Temple of Set. And uh, he's a really good interviewer. He doesn't ask a bunch of silly questions you don't want to hear about. He actually does ask about their beliefs, what Satanism is to them directly, um, especially when it comes to the rock stars. Usually when you see a rock star interviewed and an interviewer wants to ask about Satanism, that's the only question they ask. Are you, an, are you a Satanist? Are you a member of the Church of Satan? And they don't get beyond that. But no, he actually picks, you know, picks their brains some. You know, he talks to them. He talks to members of Venom. You know, talks to King Diamond, talks to Glenn Benton from DSI. And some of the interviews are really informative. Some of them are really funny or sad, depending on how you look at it, especially some of the interviews with some of the black metal type guys, because, uh, you know, you get to see a bunch of weird stuff of, you know, them hating the Church of Satan and other Satanists, not because of any serious reason, but it's because they feel that true Satanism is about pain, death, and sorrow, and so the Church of Satan <laughs> teaches people to be happy in their lives, that's why they hate Satanism. So you get to see how the minds work of some pretty far out there wackos in this book. Can I just well add something to that? Can I just add that? something to that? I just, 
I, I, I don't understand the Norwegian black metal. I mean, I know we have black metal fans that listen to this show, and I, I mean no disrespect, but if you honestly believe that Satan is out there to destroy the universe and that's all he's about, you know, is that really how pathetic your life is, that you believe that Satan is only out to destroy mankind and that he has nothing else to offer but destruction? I mean... If I believed that that was Satan's ultimate goal, I wouldn't be a Satanist. And I think it's pretty um, disrespectful to Satan, myself, personally. Because it's just buying into the Christian ideas about Satan, and it really, really bothers me. And I just wanted to say that. I mean, uh, not that we're going to get off on a big topic about, you know, a big discussion about this, but it just, I don't understand the Norwegian concept of Satanism, the Norwegian black metal concepts. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. You know, it's, uh, you know, just um, uh, um, just to add to that, in case in case any of y'all are wondering why Nero would have such a strong feeling about it, I just want to give a really quick quote from an interview with um the uh, dead guy from the band Mayhem, Euronymous. If he says uh, he's talking about the Church of Satan and why he hates them, and he says, "I think they know why Christianity is bad, and they want to make sure Christians have no power." They say Christians are oppressing freedoms and all that shit, but I think that's great. We would love to destroy the Church of Satan because they are a power on the side of goodness. They see themselves as the good force and the Christians as the evil force. They engage in rituals trying to prove to themselves that they are not enslaved by religion, and I think that's blasphemy. That's the kind of stuff Nero is talking about when he says that. But anyway, to go on, um, um, no, uh, uh, the book is a great book, and if, if you're someone who's interested in knowing about what the different denominations of Satanism are like, what makes them different, what is the history of Satanism from medieval times up until, well, I would say right now, but the book is from 99, so up until at least 10, you know, around 10 years ago. Which is, it's, it's, it's a really good book to pick up, and it's got a bunch of stuff about, you know, the bad stuff, such as Richard Ramirez and our religion, and, and the good stuff. And it's got Paul Douglas Valentine, it's got interviews with, it's even got an interview with uh, Christos Beast of the Order of the Nine Angles, who rarely talks to anybody. So it's um, it's a good book. It's a good book to pick up. Um, he writes well. He knows what he's talking about. He 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 approaches things from a very objective point of view. And um, yeah, it's a good book. Lucifer Rising: Sin, Devil Worship, and Rock and Roll by Gavin Baddeley. And it's you know on the back of the book it, it says it's the first popular history of Satanism to be published, and it's true, um, because this book was out uh, before uh, Satanism Today by, uh, damn, his name escapes me right now, but it's a big hardback reference book you'll see in library, Satanism Today. It's, it, it's more in-depth than Lucifer Rising, but Lucifer Rising, if you want to go pick up a paperback book, uh, it used to retail for 19.95 when I got it. I don't know what it retails for now. 19.95, good, thick paperback book, um, good size. Tons of loaded information, tons of great photos, tons of great info, and if you, if you don't already have it, if it's not already on your bookshelf and you're a Satanist or you're interested in Satanism, you should definitely go out and grab yourself a copy. It'll, it'll give, uh, give you a lot of stuff to work with, or, or uh, not to work with, but, but to think about. 